Hi, this is Greg from Business Automated and today I will show you how to extract the last name from a full name in Airtable using regex extract. Okay, so we will use for this uh, a formula inside of uh, Airtable. And the reason why we are using regex for the extraction is because as you can see the some of the names can vary in the length and number of middle names they have and there can be also other things that could prevent us from using basically um, division of this full name by a, a space in the middle so that's not always that simple so what we will try to do is basically grab the last name from that using regex and recently Airtable has added a, a series of formulas that are based on regex so you can see there is a regex extract match or replace and in our case we'll be using regex extract and we'll be using this to basically find the last name the first thing that you need to do in here is the string that you will be processing so that will be the full name and then the second thing needs to be the regular expression and for the regular expressions for the time moment we'll leave it blank uh, rather than writing this from the memory by ourselves what we're going to do we will copy the names and we'll use a website called regex 101 which is amazing and basically allows you to kind of see the results along the way so that you know whether your form formulas are working across multiple different options so you can paste multiple different variations as, as you can see we have a simple name here first name and the last name we have some middle names we also have some names that are having a hyphen in the middle but also we're having some more complicated cases like senior at the end okay so what we're going to do first thing we are going to select um, a character that belongs to the end of the string so what we're going to do we are going to use this symbol which indicates end of the line so you can see regex 101 is actually giving us explanations for everything that uh, what we are doing here so what we would do we would like to select a, a word character but sometimes it might be also a hyphen so really the easiest way is to basically do a slash s which will mean as you can see from the definition any non-white space character so as you can see we're already selecting the last letter of our phrases but what we want to do we want to select at least one or more letters so now you can see with plus we are selecting multiple letters as you can see some of them are not included because sometimes by mistake we might have a white space at the end so to get rid of this we will use a, another variation of this so in this case we will select space characters at the end so you can see the white space characters are being selected but what we want to do we want to select at least one or zero so we will use star so now you can see that in all cases we are actually already having a selection that allows us to select the last uh, the last word of uh, of our of our names there is a special case uh, in some of the letters because they might for example have md or they might have senior or something like that uh, so to cater for those uh, phrases we're going to add explicitly the phrases that we also want to include in the end of the name so it's going to be for example md and we're also including md but we don't want to include only md we want to include multiple ones so we're going to use the star again and as you can see that all the mds are included together with the preceding name we also want to add one more we also want to add senior and as you can see we are also selecting the ones that are having senior so this way square brackets the title or any additional thing uh, close square bracket star this way you can add uh, multiple suffixes that you would like to include in the last name okay so once we have the regex formula that is tested across multiple names and we see that it will work across multiple uh, use cases we are basically copying this going back to our formula and then here we will paste the formula and as you can see all the last names have been extracted so now let's find them the first name and for the first name we will use a simple formula let's copy the formula from here 
what we want. We want the length of the full name minus the length of the last name. So the last name is equal to this regex. And you can see that this is the length of the full name excluding the last name. So that means this is the length of the full, uh, the first name, first name or middle name. So in this case, we're basically copy pasting this and we'll take from the left of our string, which is the full name, and we'll take that number of characters. And as you can see, this way we have divided um, the full name into the first or middle name and the last name. I hope that was useful for you and if it was, please subscribe for more business automation videos.